hacking chess in 60 or less. Let's go. Today, we're looking at the infamous Morosi Bind, courtesy of the idea by a future chess superstar without a shadow of a doubt, Jerry G4. The Morosi Bind is usually comprised of the pawns on c4 and e4 and a knight on d4. It provides great control over the squares marked in blue and its most critical advantage is usually space. Black usually wants to exchange as many pieces as quickly as possible so that space is less of an issue, whereas white looks to play aggressively and run over black with his pieces. Exchange begins with knight takes, bishop takes. Remember that in the Marozzi bind, as black, you almost never want to play e5. It hampers your dark squared bishop and makes the crucial d5 advance almost impossible. And now bishop to e6 looking at c4, f4 playing aggressively, rook to c8 developing and attacking c4 again, b3 defending and queen to a5. Rook to c1, a6 preparing b5 and a4 stopping b5. Black will now try attacking on a queen side as white is smashing open the center with his pieces. 